Our verse for this video is Matthew chapter 6, verse 7. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. One of the ways that you can tell if somebody's lost, if they are a heathen, um, meaning that they don't care anything at all about Jesus Christ or the Bible, the Holy Spirit is not in them, is they will use vain repetition. They will repeat their, their things over and over again. Um, it's not a sin to repeat something over and over. If you're praying for a loved one, we'll say, uh, that's fine. Jesus Christ, when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he prayed the same thing a number of times. It wasn't vain repetition. But when you have people that they just say something where they can just repeat it and repeat it, and they're not even thinking what they're saying, it's just vain repetition. And it's a mark of being a heathen. And why do they do it? Well, they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking, as our text says right here. They think that there's some kind of special power that comes from just continuing to repeat something over and over again. And I'm going to show you some real world examples of this exact thing. All right. First of all, you would think of heathen being this type of a thing, these guys in Africa and whatever else. And I have no idea what they're saying, but they, you'll hear that they repeat it over and over again. And I'm going to show you some other types of heathen uh, and vain repetition. Let's listen to this real quickly. <laughs> I have no idea what they're saying, but you hear them saying it over and over again. And this is, would be the classical thing that comes into your mind when you think of heathen. Uh, they're dressed up in their tribal outfits and everything, which, you know, in and of itself is not bad. It's what their ethnic group does there. Fine, whatever. But I don't know what they're saying. If they're praising animals or I don't know. But uh, let me show you some other types of uh, vain repetitions. How about this one? They think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. You just go around saying, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. They say, oh, this is racist. It's a racist rant. Okay, then let's go to this one. How about this one? Send her back. Send her back. Send her back. Send it. Huh? So it's not vain. It's it's about this Ilian Omar or whatever there. Uh, she should be sent back or whatever. Um, okay, but they're still repeating it over and over again, thinking that, that makes some kind of a powerful thing happen. So we don't realize how much our modern world is condemned in Scripture. We kind of think, oh, the worlds are so different. Uh, not really. There's heathen people here. Just repeating something over and over again. And... Uh, as evidence of how heathen this nation and this world really is, what's the number one video on YouTube? This idiotic thing here, and I'm not even going to play the audio because I don't want to put this in people's heads, but, you know, just keep saying the same thing over and over again. Baby shark, do, 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 whatever. Over and over again. 13 billion, 205 million, 686,939 uh, views. 13 billion plus views. That's more people, uh, more than the number of people on the earth right now, which tells you that people are watching this over and over again. Vain repetition. Hmm. Now I'll show you another example here. This is a crime scene. A girl was really drunk out of her mind and whatever else and, and they told her to get out of the vehicle. She can't drive correctly and everything else and she's resisting arrest. And if you watch the whole video, they're not being rough with her. She's just completely being an absolute nut job. And see, you know, for years people haven't been punishing their children. They don't spank their children as the Bible says to. And so you have generations of brats that are out there now and they just they act, they're adults, but they act just like little children, little brats see this real quick I won't play a whole lot of it because it's vexing but she's let me go let me go let me she just keeps saying it just like a little brat would do knock it off she refused to get in the vehicle and continued to struggle with the officers
like a little child. Wasn't properly disciplined by her parents. Let me go. Just like a child. Disgusting. This cursed generation of the Antichrist. I did a study on that. And it just keeps going on and on. Just let me go. Let me go. They put her in the police car. Let me go. Let me go. It's vain repetition. And how about here in this uh, church? Okay, listen to the, uh, again, vain repetition. Okay, that's about enough of that. Um, I can fly, I can fly, I can fly, I can fly, I believe I can fly. <laughs> yeah, if you apparently get very high, then you can fly. Um, it's not of the Lord. Okay, that's not the kind of hymns that, that uh, bring praise to him. So, again, a bunch of lost people in there. And speaking of lost people in religion, how about this one? The Catholic Crusade, a Catholic prayer ministry. The Three Hail Mary Novena, a powerful daily novena. Let's see where we get to here. They go through and they say, um, that's not the Hail Mary thing there. Where is it? Yeah, right there. To obtain this favor, I honor thy power by reciting, and it goes through the Hail Mary thing there. See, some of you just thought Hail Mary was when they throw a football. Oh, my, no. It's a Catholic prayer. <laughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless okay, so you do that, and then you go through that there, and then you go say a bunch of other stuff, and then you go back to, you do another Hail Mary right there, and you go through a bunch of other things, you know, here and whatever, and and then you go back and you do a third Hail Mary. So you just pray these prayers over and over again. And um, right here is a Sunday Missal. I remember I, I said something to a pastor year, years ago, Baptist church I was going to, went up to the senior pastor and I said, guess what I have in my coat, my coat pocket. And he said, what? And I said, it's a missile. And he looked at me and he said, what kind of missile? <laughs> he said, with you, I don't know. It could be a, you know, a, you know, something that you launch out of a, some kind of weapon or something. So, no, no, no. M-I-S-S-A-L. But uh, anyhow, but a book of prayers that you recite. Um, I don't remember there being anything in here about that. Um, actually, the, the Lord condemned uh, vain repetitious prayers that they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Isn't that what they're doing right there? These Roman Catholics? So you have to say it three times. And you say it three times, it's more powerful. Powerful daily novena. Why is it powerful? Because it's repeated. It's what Jesus Christ condemned. But this is the church that Jesus founded, huh? You Catholics out there, you need to realize, step back and realize what you're part of. And I realize you're going to have family problems if you leave the Catholic Church. You won't get your good burial and the, you know all the other stuff. You'll be labeled as a heretic and everything, but it's worth it. Get out of that satanic system. But if this one's not powerful enough for you, I'll show you an even more powerful one. How about praying the rosary of the 1,000 Hail Marys? This video, this woman here, prays it 1,000 times. Listen to a little bit. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is... And she goes through it, and she goes through it, and she goes back through it, and then she goes through it again, and she prays it 1,000 times. And you get up to here. I forget where it's at. Where does it end here? Fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Okay, Mary was full of grace, and uh, the Lord is with thee. 
Yes, that was true. Blessed art thou amongst women. That's from Scripture. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Scripture. Jesus. Fine. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Eh, wrong. No Scripture. Not one verse of Scripture calls her the Mother of God. Not one. Um, pray for us sinners. Where does Mary pray for sinners? See, that's the problem here. Now and at the hour of our death. Book, chapter, and verse, please. It's not in there. And take your Catholic Bible. Well, that, I can't say that, actually. The Catholic Bible, Lord only knows what's in those you know, satanic versions from uh, Egypt, Alexandria. But let's see. I'm trying to get to the end where she goes, ding, it rings a little bell. So just put up with it a little bit longer. Now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full uh. of grace, the Lord is with <laughs> So, trying to get through this thing here and get the little bell ending. Thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now we get the, the bell. hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. Uh. <laughs> I don't know how you can sit here and listen to this thing for 5 hours, 19 minutes, and 52 seconds. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Okay, here we go. Maybe this will be it. Sinners. Come on. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full uh. of grace, the Lord. We'll get there here in a minute. But the, I can look over here. It says 2,000 Hail Mary Rosary for our families. It's 8 hours, 26 minutes, and 12 seconds. Now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary. Uh. <laughs> uh. So hopefully everybody out there is doing good and things. But uh, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now um, and at the hour of our death, will amen. This be it? Hail Mary, full oh. of grace. Now it must be one more yet. I lost count here. I'm not sure what if, if we're up to 999 Hail Marys yet or not. But, Holy uh, Mary, Mother of God, okay, we're getting there. pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. Oh, I don't know how to get to the end of this thing. But uh, I think you see the point I'm trying to make. Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Can we get the bell? Hail Mary. Oh, sorry, this thing's taking a lot longer than I you know, was thinking here. I should have written down the time stamp of when it ends. But uh, again, I think they sh shall be heard for their much speaking. Us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. We're going to get it now. Yeah. Glory be to the <laughs> Ding. <laughs> the match is over. So, uh, yeah, and then we'll show one more example of heathen doing their vain repetitions. Here's a patriot, you know, and listen to what they're saying. Okay. Tell me what a police state looks like. This is what a police state looks like. Okay, and what was solved? They think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. That's why they do the chants at these rallies, these protest things. And it doesn't matter what color you are, what beliefs you are. They go to these stupid street rally things, and they just chant things over and over again. They think they shall be heard for their much speaking. Did the police state stop back here uh, 11 years ago? Oh, I'll tell you, they came to this thing, and there was never a police state type of thing after that. It all ended. No, it didn't. And the uh, Black Lives Matter and all this other stuff, where is it at? They're, they're not going to stop anything. The Trump rally, uh, send her back or whatever they were saying. Did it stop her? No. So the uh, thing of using vain repetitions, be they heathen like this, or heathen like that, or there, or there, or uh, drunken people like that, or supposed church building stuff like this, or the papal repetitious prayers, or patriot type of things. They're all heathen, and they're vain. 
that it's a waste of time. Do not get caught in vain repetitions. And if you see people using vain repetition like that, just saying the same thing over and over again, um, you're not dealing with somebody that's saved. So that is going to be it. Thank you for watching.